Um, so yeah, basically, guys, what you're currently looking at is um, a GIF straight from the creator. This is literally the word right here. Um, this is a proximity activation block, which senses the players near it as a proximity. Why well, it, it senses it, when you touch it, yeah. It senses when you touch it, and then it will trigger things using the new logic system. And I believe what I'm looking at is some rotatable gravity or some rotated gravity. So whenever this guy has got to it, got to it, it's activated gravity and he's fall to the next one, and then it's rotated again and he's fall. So he's falling in a loop until he leaves the area. So future armor grav tubes, for example. But obviously this means many many other things. Um, I think it might be worth me linking the other two quickly just before I get into this. Um, where are those images now? We put them both up in the community, so I'll just quickly get you there, guys. What are they looking at right now? Because it might be a mess. No, it's fine. Right. Stuff. There we go, so there's this one, and there's this one. So let's have a look and see if that's actually centered on the screen. It's probably not. No, it's, it's okay. <laughs> let's see if I can get that better. Why has it decided to do that? Interesting. Well, this first one is showing a, a, proxi a proximity activation block um, at triggering the gravity in that area. As you can see, he's in, in the area. So, it's similar to the last one, but uh, in a much simpler presentation. And then this one shows he's pushing the activation block and it's activating the weapons. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, you know, you, you can take that and just go, huh, wow, so there's that. But then what we were just looking at was this. So, you know, mind blown. So, yeah, implications of this. Automatically opening doors with gravity. Uh, we already showed airlocks. If you didn't have to push the buttons, that's going to be something. Down. What now? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that big ships with little room for interior are going to be really, really fun to design turbo lifts for. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. It's going to be turbo lifts. And I'm super excited to see what happens when we apply this to planets as well. So you have a ship in orbit, you park at a certain point, and you activate your grav tube and you literally fly up into the ship basically getting beamed up like a Ooh. kind of a classic ufo style maneuver interesting so uh definitely we'll give a whole new definition to spaceport <laughs> yeah or at the very least um flinging people into the ships and then the ships can automatically have uh docking so you for example if you wanted to be a bit meta you could for example make a uh, docking port on a station yeah, and then make ships with compatible features. So, you launch people down a docking tube, and when they arrive at the ship, they arrive at a compatible docking port, get switched into the ship's gravity, bind the entities that way. Uh, could also work to process creatures in the future. Definitely going to be upgrading the uh, creature ship with uh, some interesting gravity devices once this stuff gets released. I'll be really excited to see if we can actually have NPCs fly around inside um, or be subject to our whims. Press button, move creature to a different chamber for more experimentation, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, true. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm also hoping that there will be some form of involuntary gravity manipulation where I can fly by a planet and scoop someone up. <laughs> Kidnapping. Anti gravity. Not because it's <laughs> anti, but because they didn't initiate it. <laughs> a tractor beam. Oh, yeah, exactly. Tractor beams, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Entity tractor beams. We're trying. Nice, nice. 
the the linking system will hopefully lead to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm seeing the weapons thing as being good for all those people with the Star Trek ships, because obviously they can now have an activation block on the bridge that fires a gun, and another one on a different console that fires the torpedo. You know, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Infinite torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should have them watch that Voyager uh, torpedo count video. The, 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 <laughs> the definitive torpedo. They were at like negative 89 by the end of the series. Oh, I think it was like, even where'd more. you get all those? Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Great show. Full spread. <laughs> I need a full spread. Fire. <laughs> Brilliant. I, it's funny because I loved the series when I watched it at the time, and then in hindsight, I just pick it apart. Yeah, you don't realize it when you're watching it because it's such a roller coaster. <laughs> it's fun. That's the whole damn point, right? Yep. Let's have a look at those activating weapons again for anybody who missed them. So, yeah, the uh, remote activation of weapons. We also have confirmed remote activation of explosive blocks, which is interesting. Because yeah, you he know, he he wow. hasn't shown it to us, but he, he blew himself it. up. <laughs> That's probably why he didn't show us. <laughs> you should have done. That would have been great. But yeah, like I say, remote activation of detonate of explosive or disintegrator blocks is going to mean booby traps. Uh, you know, the time lock code that we displayed before, or the the, the lock door with the boot, with you know, which drops you into lava. Obviously, you don't need to drop people in lava if you can just blow up the floor underneath them. I mean, Spiral doors. Or maybe you could just actually, what would be safer would be if you drop them into a spherical room that was the size of the explosion and then detonated it with a trigger <laughs> so they fall into the explosion and it doesn't damage the ship. <laughs> I want a button that sends people directly to the brig. Oh, you could, well, you'd be able to do that. I, I honestly, I'm thinking that I have a button in the bridge. It's basically like one of those cartoon, like, drop away floors. Mm. One of those drop away chairs in the evil lair, right? You push exactly. the button, and the chair drops out from under him, and it shoots him through a, a tube and drops him into a gravity pit. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, stations are going to get more interesting. We will uh, put them in a loop forever. Actually, Zero's station, his newest one. Oh my lord. The thing is insane, and this is going to absolutely take it to the next level. He, he's finally gone and done the uh, cylindrical like colony station. Yeah. Oh, you could automatically transfer colony uh, at the four corners. Yep. Right? That is exactly right. And obviously we've already uh, seen the other things that can be done with it. <clears throat> I hope. <laughs> by now <clears throat> shameless plug videos on my channel so granted that it's your stream channel. there's no such thing as a shameless plug I, I suppose so I just never do and I suppose it's a good idea <coughs> but yeah KY Starman. wants to activate trap cards <laughs> activate trap cards okay. I'm, I'm going to show you oh, true meaning of shameless cards. plug. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's right. Mushroom Fleet ships being uplaid, uploaded daily. Go on to the StarMade uh, content area. Community content and you will see many ships from your favorite builders. So yeah, if you're interested, go there. But, you know, it's only if you download people's ships. We're just saying. Check that out. Maybe you just want to kill Dalmon's ships. I don't know. Exactly. But Bring them in as pirates, torture your friends, yeah, you give them to that. newbies, use them as examples. You name it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, deleted link. What is this? I was going to shamelessly plug, but I ended up having a shame plug. Oh, that's a shame, that is. Let me just mod you. Right. Repost it. Deleted link. I allow links from moderators. Right, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to post it. If it deletes my link, something's wrong. Because <laughs> I should be able to post stuff. Yay! <laughs> oh well, we got it. 
So, yeah, stuff and things. I mean, <clears throat> wireless logic? Anybody? No? Love it. In fact, I'm going to chuck that in there as well. <coughs> so, yeah, wireless logic, guys. That means, if you will, circuitry. So, we can put in little systems, have a little trigger block. Now that you can make it proximity, um... I mean, I'm, you know, there's other things too. That's just one way. But that's crazy. I mean, it's going to work like an infrared laser trigger. So you can't see it. But if you walk through it, it'll go off. And, like, to me, you combine that with an OR gate. And you could, like, security up your entire ship. And then have it all hooked up to one OR, one OR gate. You can just turn it all off. <laughs> just turn it all off. Walk around your ship, no problem. Turn it all on. And then, if anyone walks through there, nasty things might happen. <laughs> like, you could have a wall of AMCs behind your wall. And, yeah. As soon as someone Terrifying walks past stuff. it, boom! <laughs> Shotgun. You know? Like those old temple traps where it, you know... Oh yeah, the, uh, the, yeah. Like you walk by and the doors, you, the the walls are gone, and they just start shooting arrows at you. Like the puzzle cube, is my uh, is my the puzzle my baby. cube is about to be like the horror movie. Now. Yeah, it, it's gonna be the terror cube by the time I'm done with it. The terror cube. That sounds terrifying. Mm. Well, because you know, I've already I already made a, an escalator that just doesn't stop. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm like, just can't wait for everyone to get their hands on it, because at the moment I'm like resisting, I've got a, got a build with it, but I know what will happen, if I go on to it, I'll probably build every single bleeding circuit there is known to man, and, and like, I'm trying to hold off on it, because I don't know how long it's going to be for people to be able to play with it too, um, so I'm, I'm trying to save it a little bit. <laughs> you don't want we're uh, streaming, man. What's up? Oh, I just need you to um, change the faction for someone. The lounge, because I can't get onto the server. Uh, sure. Who do you need set? It's um, out to Rose, six thirteen. Go talk to him if you need. What faction does he need to be in? Uh, I don't know. Let me go check. So yeah, admin previews as well, apparently. This guy's getting changed. A true legend in the making. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to skip through a few of these. Right then, let's change the pictures. I'm just going to look at a couple of the other pictures that I've amassed from these latest builds so that we sort of to mix it up a little bit. Because we're just looking at the same gift for ages there. <laughs> I'll just tweak it. It's space bars, the faction down one. He's already in that. So, uh, what are you looking oh, at at the moment? His base. Whoa. Rip. Hey, Dal, do you reckon you could take Rip to... Uh, yes. ...your office quick? Cheers. Alright, just to keep it clean. So... Someone's in trouble now. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, right, what are we going to do then? Uh, here we are. It's deciding to do strange things with my uh, thing. There we go. Right. So that there is the null pointer. It's the first thing we, well, one of the first things we put together when we got our hands on it. It's basically a delay circuit hooked up to a staggered door and light. And then you just hit that, lo loads, and connect it to the back, you know, and then you're done. And it makes this lovely little LED pattern. So, you know, I mean, that, we played around with that for quite some time. And then we went on and I did this spiral door using delay blocks. It was really easy to set up. And I, I did I did me get mess it up and like the troubleshooting was, was really easy as well. So All you had to do was figure out the logic, not yeah. how to build it. Yeah, because the log the actual, right? you didn't yeah. have to worry about, you know, laying down wires in the right order and dealing with weird mechanics from those. It's just what do you link to what? Yeah, I didn't have to worry about like you know, the wiring didn't get in the way of the aesthetics of the build, 
um, it was only pushing C and V. All you had to do was make sure that everything connects together in the right order and you'll be fine. I mean, if you do manage to make some crazy loop, all you do is break one of the blocks and breaks the chain. So <laughs> it's a really nice system, infinite range, um, or as well, you say infinite, but you know, as far as your ship is big. So, you know, there's no limit. No limit on the range of the connection. There's no limit. The limit on... is your system, your computer itself. That's yeah. your limit. Good yeah. limit to have. Limited by its size. <laughs> it's only limited by its own size. Five um, and nickel. And what else? Of course, you can connect multiple things, not just four or six with mods. We're talking an unlimited number of connections to each node if you will in the in the in the circuit so you know it you're only limited by your imagination in this and it's going to become a really i think it'll become a really stable platform for circuitry demonstration and there's a lot of educational stuff going on with that you know and uh he even insisted we use the proper logic gate symbols on the blocks yeah that's beautiful. they're not in yet but they they are they will be the proper symbols. Mm, mm. I did. So, some of them so were, learning some to of them set were. up logic in this game will actually help you set up logic on a computer. It's really quite amazing, and somebody's going to come along and like build a CPU or something. It's going to be nuts. Oh, I'm sure. Um, and obviously, like I say, the the uh, spiral door was so easy. I mean, I did make another style of door which opened a bit more like a vault or something, you know. It sort of opened in two pieces that opened sideways. Because uh, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could make a piston door like effect. Uh huh. And yeah, it was just a case of pixel animation, really, and careful use of delay in sequence. It's just like timeline editing if you want, because you just put a. Just put. If you want to do animation, just like. Because I've, I've got a couple of ideas, but I'll, I'll, I'll save them actually. Uh, you just you just you just load out your delay blocks and chain them up to each part of the sequence, whether that be a light or a uh, or a weapon or a door. Really nice. There's more pictures. There's a null pointer. Another picture of the door. So, and obviously, if you wanted to speed up the animation, you'd do two doors for each delay instead of one, like I did here. I just wanted it to look really nice. And as you can see, it actually turns the light on as well when the door's shut. So when this door's finished opening, the light will turn off. Which, of course, is just another use of delay. But you can get funky with it and make a circuit. So, you know, it's really nice, really easy. And because of the way that they don't have to be connected or anything like that, you could have an e ele uh, electronics room where you've got all of your uh, circuitry. And uh, you can just hide it all very easily. It's really nice. Spiral doors. It's just everything's going to be just be more fun. Like it's going to visually bring it all up to a new level. Because uh, it wasn't there already. It's gonna, it's gonna give you a reason to have a like, central computer oh. core on your ship now too. Oh, remember that other thing that we discussed on the live stream? I think the so. particle system. Yes, the and particles. the option to put them into a block for just good looks. Yes. So you can make sparks fly out when you open a door. Yes. Oh, believe it. I think I've actually... Oh, yeah, what if I told you? I'll the ranch shop first. <laughs> 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 I have to stop on that. Round planets. We'll come back to the round planets, but at the moment so, we're talking about linking. I'm totally going to drop this out. Uh, running lights? Yes, running strobes. lights, landing lights, strobes. <clears throat> Disco I'm talking lights. particle strobes. <clears throat> Dude, we're going to be doing light communication with a UFO in a skit soon. Think the close encounters of the third kind. Actually, uh, he's got a good point. Uh, because there's, uh, there's a minimum timer, like a half second or whatever, on, on, on the lights. Yes. Right, But particles don't have that. So you could use a particle block to get a much faster strobing effect. Oh, these go fast. Dude, they go so fast, the strobe goes backwards. We're breaking the GIF. The GIF you, you, look at this one. They're going backwards now because it's going so fast. 
You just have to put lots of pulses into the off on, you know, into the activation. And it'll just keep looping it because it's like, it's not like where you have a pulse that goes through constantly. You put it on and it goes on all the way down. And then you go off and it goes off, right? So if you go on off, it'll go on off like a pulse all the way down, like a little packet of data going down and wide. Okay. It's beautiful. Just imagine putting that on the side of your ship. Yeah, just imagine. I was talking about an automated system. Like you oh, push sorry. the button once, and like it puts out, you know, the the stream at a certain rate. Oh, okay, like a constant. But yeah, stream obviously, hit multiple inputs would get around that too. And you can do it without that now, because say this is what I was thinking, right? You open it with this new proximity thing. If I make each sort of rib of the corridor as you're going down it have a proximity thing that feeds back into the original activation block at the beginning of the loop with all the lights and doors down the sides of the corridor like I have there. What will happen is the further you walk, the more it will pulse until by the time you get to the end, it's just going nuts. So you could proper wake up the ship, you know, by just walking down. And then you could even have a massive delay timer set at the end, to just turn it all off so that you get the effect all over again every time you walk through. Honestly? And that's just as a stupid if that's a stupid application of circuitry. How about this one? Do you want more stupid applications? Oh please. We open uh you open up Plex doors. Imagine just a vent system, like a door door on yeah. the side of your ship. There's a button on your bridge. You hit the button, the door opens, lights underneath that turn on. It looks like a cooling vent just opened on the ship. Oh, right? Oh you've got you've got particle effects inside exactly. of it emitting some kind particle of smoke. As well. Wow. Yep, you've got the whole nine yards. Your ship wow. just came alive. Yeah, that's you it. want a shower? You want a a, a burner? Just drop inside the soap. your ship. Yeah, yeah just drop, drop the soap. The soap. Good. There's that crazy platform. I'm gonna get. There is a picture of the particle effects in here. I'm trying to get to it. This is the Travelator, aka the Bridge of Death, uh, for anyone that's gonna be in the Puzzle Cube soon. And it, that's basically the core concept of the new platform design. They're not just going to be hidden anymore. They're going to move, and you're going to have to turn it rim on when you get in there. So, that's that. Or in the activation, they just walk in, and the room's going to start dancing. Good luck getting to the exit. Oh, I love this. This is just gold dust. Thanks. I think sometime Fine. soon, I'm going to start it on a shell for a smart ship. Found it. I'll call it the eye ship. There's that particle shit, that particle gif. So this is based on the default smoke um, particle effect that's currently in the editor. So that's the reason it looks like a bunch of little clouds that are fading away and stuff. But I created basically a radial effect that spins around and expands and uh, changes from blue to red. I did it just by putting in a few random settings and there were about 30 settings. If you wanted to know more, there's a video on the channel which about halfway through you can see all of the settings that are there so I did show Would you that. like to know more? Mm. If you'd like to know more go check out YouTube and Now is a Starship Troopers reference I love it mate, my, it's my favourite film and Barney is in it <laughs> That's why he loves, a scary that's, why he loves, in it. that's why he loves laser tag so much <laughs> <laughs> That that being said, uh, two good questions. We can link the particle effects to events or commands through the logic system, and also uh, LEGO wanted to know if it would be possible to link them to the hotbar. Maybe, maybe, and maybe. Linking them to the hotbar? I'd like to have it done that way, but until Scheme actually does it, um, or tries to do it, well, it's I would have thought it would just go into the uh, blah, 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 linking system as you told us for engine effects. So if I was to, for example, at a very basic well, level, well, I'm what he's asking is effect. like, say, say I shoot the AMC cannon. Yeah. Um, can it shoot off lightning bolts, you know, around the AMC cannon when I right. trigger that? Right. That's what he's asking with the hot bar. Right. Like, can I tie a, an effect to go off anytime you know hot with bar one is used? Right. But for the actual design of this, we're attaching a particle effect to a block, which triggers on activation of that block, provided you wire it up correctly. KY, that's possible. <coughs> I don't know if the game could do it by default, but with the particle system built in, I'm sure uh, uh, someone could easily mod it so that when they teleport, it uh, does a poof effect. And um, 
again, obviously these effects are shareable. So for anybody that might have sort of reservations about anything to do with silly effects that may be created, they're not server wide. So unless you own the server or, you know, it's your single player, your effects can't just be used on any server. They have to be kind of approved and then they could be used. So, you know, uh, it's nice because it will create a culture of people creating really nice effects. Um, For now, the server admin would have to take your effect and replace whatever the default one is. Yeah, yeah. So none of the, yeah, none of the penis ships like you had in Spore. <laughs> Because even if someone was just to make a really sick looking engine smoke, I know people say, you don't have smoke in space, but damn does it look cool. Because <laughs> they have engine trails, not necessarily smoke, you know. So this, again, this particle effect that we're showing here is based on a smoke template. So although it changes color, that's just because of my random use of settings. Um, again, the video is on YouTube. Uh, but my understanding is that anyone can pretty much create their own effects and then using the options produce even more effects based on that um, actual texture I'm guessing so yeah there it is that's particle effects I mean literally we're going to see much more of that about when we see more and learn more of it and how it will be implemented but Let me just throw there. a few ideas out at you. Yeah, okay? sure. Go for it. Like the this is just with the existing like this is just literally with what we discussed so far. Editable particles, just within the bounds. Yeah. Uh, hot tub, shower, uh, burner. Uh, I'm thinking Olympic sized swimming pool. Mm-hmm. In a ship. You said already heat events like that come out of the corridors yep. and stuff, or heat maybe vents. In the engine rooms. Yep, engineering section. And they I'm only thinking. trigger when people are near it. So, like you said, decontamination it's not shower, yes. fog machine in the disco room, fog machine Sparks. in the disco room, oh. sparks. Yeah, we use that for a We're still on smoke. Flame, We're still on smoke. <laughs> you, you, you know, you can have fire in your ship. Fire. Who wants? Like, can I make them little heart-shaped particles? Bring lightning. The <laughs> yes, lightning was the. Um, yeah, for me that was the trigger. Like, uh, Lego linked a, a picture with a ship with lightning come off. I'm like, what if we could just make decorative particle blocks? Rainbow like, lasers. That wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yeah, there will be rainbow lasers. Rainbow I will find a way to make it happen. Lasers somehow, one day, somewhere. More than likely on Mushroom Fleet first. <laughs> If it's you know, my, my, my current concept for swarm missiles is, is that it shoots out eight at a time. Oh, one you of each give color, huh? Each one of each <laughs> color. You can have rainbow missiles. Rainbow missiles. Rainbow apocalypse. Brilliant. And how they're setting up the uh, the particle system, you can control the particles, the effect that's shown when they launch. You can show their travel time effect. And you can show uh, the effect when they actually impact, so... So decontamination spray. Mm, decontamination spray. Airlock okay. door opens. Atmosphere pours in. You get the little bit of swoosh. Yeah, get a swoosh. Contamination spray for well, those unwanted I, guests. Indeed. I poison. can't remember what the actual setting does, but there was an option for gravity and collision in the texture effect. So I don't like in the air particle effect. So I don't know if that means just the way it moves. Or if that does mean that it somehow would interact with the surroundings. He is building systems specifically for the weapons. Yeah. <clears throat> but with other functions in mind. But the uh, the whole point is that it's for the weapons, oh, so we, we can get... have the particles for that. So the yeah. the launch effect, the travel effect, the impact effect will all be included. Nice, nice. So I'm guessing we'll we get the get added to... bonus of decorations. Uh, well, I, if it can be used for effects, it will be. But I'm happy if there's only like, say, there were only like six effects that you could set an effect to then I, I'd be happy with that because it's going to enhance the game so much and there's plenty of room for, you know, if he wanted to expand it, then he could, couldn't he, I'm sure. Because it depends how it goes down, isn't it? Because I'm guessing if it's server approved, that means you've got to assign that approval to something. Uh, 
I'm I'm just looking forward to one particle one quick effect. fall off yeah, light on effect. the top of my little pole. Just one effect is gonna be yeah. Um, so yeah, that would be possible. Asking, it wouldn't actually emit light to anything around it, though. Uh, I wouldn't but have you to. See it. Uh, so someone's yeah, that's asking the best. if uh, the particles could look like a beam. Granted that we're getting lasers. I believe that when I Omni commented on... Was it Omni? I think Omni commented. I'm going to have to go and check, because in a thread on somebody asking for a mod for lasers to be different colours, I posted the video for the particle demonstration because I thought well I guess this is the, you know that's this you know and I thought mm, interesting um, it was a nice thread you know because obviously I want that I wouldn't mind different colored lasers I'm not against it at all but I thought that from my understanding with that 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 would be confirmed if that makes sense um, but of course we don't really know how it is implemented yet and I don't like putting words in the dev's mouth, and it's not here yet. So this isn't basis, my system, so yeah, on the, on that I, I'm just feeding you guys tidbits that I get. You know, the some of the technical jargon that uh, Omni and Schema are throwing back and forth. I'm like, um, yeah, that sounds awesome, right? Um, and obviously there are loads of really awesome suggestions over on the new StarMade uh, forums, so make sure to go and check that out got name that mineral at the moment and open discussion on minerals and what the names could possibly be so obviously, yeah get on that because i'm not going to leave it up forever obviously i've put in a number i've put in a few just a few serious <laughs> suggestions and i put in some fun suggestions too so i, I like schema zeon that's pretty sweet <laughs> ferbolinium yeah pretty sweet <laughs> Right, so, uh, and then obviously we've got loads of other things. Lots of people. If nobody lots wants to name them, we'll just name them by color. Red ore, blue ore, yellow ore, red crystal, what do you mean, like blue crystal, blue or, yellow crystal. Orange ore, red ore. Like, just make no, it one word. No, two separate words. Completely <laughs> unoriginal. Oh, right. Just name it by what it is. We'll make it, we'll make it terrible. You could have a, a brown dirt block and then a slightly browner dirt block. You know? <laughs> oh dear. So they need eight <laughs> new ores. exactly the same. And eight new shards. So it's funny, what's funny is everyone's named eight, even I did, everyone's named eight ores. Oh, well, one guy did eight crystals too. Yeah, several people have done both. Interesting. Lumite. Which, which is funny, because like the that. crystals are going to be just as common as the ores. Oh. Where's that? Down. Huh? Oh, it doesn't exist yet, but it should. Uh, Miri and Resba fan art. Right, where's Resba's fan art? I haven't seen any of that. Not yet, but it's it should be out How there is it eventually. How do we yeah. Know? Why am I? I'm getting Most a skin likely. from some. I'm, someone I don't know is asking me how to upload a skin. Oh, because I uploaded a skin. Right. Okay, everybody, we're doing a tutorial. You go to the forum. You click on login. You've logged in. Congrats. Now you click on community content, you click add content, you click on the category, ships, stations, texture packs, skins, mods, anything you want. I'm going to click on skins and then you're going to go continue. And now it's going to ask you to fill out this form. Now on this form, you put in the title and the version number. After that, a short tagline that will appear in the feed next to your content. You can click on the uploaded file, upload it. You can use an exter external download URL, but I've always used the upload content myself just from my computer. I find that I have to put it into a zip file or a rare file first because some files, file types aren't recognized, like cement files, for example, or skin files, which is interesting. But hey, I've only uploaded, yeah, whatever, it works. So, in we go. I'm not going to actually upload anything at the moment, but you know. Type in your description. Uh, when you've typed in the name of, uh, so you say, my awesome ship, I can't spell, my awesome ship, okay, and um, once you've actually put your uh, ship details in, you can even, I can't spell, look at that, right, and then once you've done that, you click on pictures, put in the image URL, so you can copy the URL from the top of your browser when you're looking at it. Yeah, back one second. Browser. 
so that's that and then obviously if you've got a YouTube video you can link from Daily Motion, Facebook, Live Leak, Meta Cafe, Vimeo or YouTube just post the link in here and embed and it'll clean it all up and resize it for you very nice obviously there's a number of standard options up here which is really nice um, and then again you're going to move down go additional information URL so for example if you've got like a post in your community forums you can link the post there so anybody can go there and comment in the same place if they want and uh, okay, okay, additionally if you've got like a, a website or something like that ch chuck that in, a URL in here and then lastly click upload con content icon so if you've got like a little 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 thumbnail screenshot which is 96 by 96 or you've just got a little avatar that you use for your releases you can say save and on the next page it'll ask you to upload that so you can click preview at this point and check out what it looks like I mean uh, I won't bother because this one's already done well I haven't got anything to upload at the moment but I'll go and check out a different page of mine and then we'll be able to uh, check that out so do, 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 do. I made some skins and there aren't many so should be able to find it pretty easy. I'm going to show the Banana Man. What well, Banana Man? The Banana Man. Remember those Banana Men from Spore? Those guys, your religious fanatics, the annoying ones? Well, actually, it's strange that you should say that because after a galactic exodus, the first highly evolved fruit races are returning. Banana Men are an ancient race of a highly advanced technology. Strange traditional rituals have survived, and the annual peeling of the criminals is a sought after event by pan galactic tourists. Got to give it a little bit of meta. So anyway, that's <laughs> disturbing. Yeah, you got to watch out for them. They peel things. So, I want to see what his helmet looks like. Mate, you want to look at that helmet? It's got a mission and all sorts. Look at that. Oh yeah, I like making these. That was uh, by request from uh, Test Kill. He just kept saying bananas. Oh. When he removes his helmet, you should have him have a you know non-peel. Oh, it peeled hair. Oh, wow. So it peels his head when he takes off the thing. That's <laughs> so even much more wrong. disturbing. <laughs> it's pretty dark. Look at him. See, they're religious fanatics, mate. They twitch like he's angry. He's not happy, this one. And they haven't got any eyes, just a banana organic shell. <laughs> Came out really nice. But anyway, moving on to how we're actually demonstrating this. If I look here, you've got author, me. Downloads, zero, sad face. I guess I, I already gave them the, the, the guy by media fire. <laughs> so even the guy I made it for hasn't downloaded it. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we've got the category, no votes, because you've got to download something before you can rate it. So I'm not going to do it to my own stuff, but I'm going to go and find someone else's something. Tears. So, yes, and I'm going to rate that. Um, <laughs> and here we go, so ask questions or get support. So this one will go to mushroomfleet.co.uk because obviously that's how I set it up. And this is the more information, find more info app. And then that's the post where I originally shared this. So there'll be the con you know, the original comments and thread for when I made it in the community. But anyway, got a version history. You can check that out on the tab. In fact, I think the Spud Tato skin. Yeah, the Spud Tato skin. The living root plants. There we go. These guys. I got an update on this one. So as you can see here, uh, I actually removed it, but you can see I had to resize the helmet and helmet emissions to 128 from 256 because originally I made them both in 256 and that did not work. So um, we got that. That's done. So the Spud people got their skin. And obviously, if you own the content and you did mess it up, you don't have to delete it. You can just go post resource update and then it'll ask you to upload it, give it a new version number and uh, put a little message out with an update for the feed and then that's it, you've pretty much got it done so that will actually change the original download so it's threaded releases which is really nice um, Hello. obviously you can edit the content here or here or here if you didn't see the big buttons everywhere um, and then obviously I've got it'll filter all of your things down along here so, you know, I want to see something else by myself. <laughs> I can look at it from here. But what I'm going to do now is just show you how to rate things as well while we're doing this. So, I'm going to go to ships, of which there are 211 at the moment. I'm going to check out the SFW Melody. 
Yay! And as you can see, we were looking at the melody just before we started this discussion. So, I'm going to check out the pictures. I wonder where the video is. Damn, I'm slacking again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that footage. It'll be done soon, sir. Alright, download now. And once you've downloaded a copy of the ship, you can give it a review. So, where are we? I'm going to give it a five star rating because I love the interior. Interior view. I wonder what game is going to come out with a logic system next week. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but we know who got there first, so. The thing is, the problem with being the leader is everyone will follow. That's the same of all things. So, that's the problem. It's just, you know. Don't let it get you down. Yeah, oh well, whatever. So here we go, SFW Tiger. There's another one. I can check out all the stuff by Dalmont right in one place. Look at that. And he is adding ships all the time. So All the time. All the time. <laughs> so this is excellent. We can even go and check out... Oh, no, streams. Someone's streaming. Who could be streaming? Gaming with Saber? Oh, no, it's just Mushroom Fleet looking at a picture of Gaming with Saber. So, skins and things. I think we were talking about wiring and stuff. I think so. That's what we were talking about originally. <laughs> Coming back. So, yeah, that's that. Little tutorial. I'll cut that out for YouTube. How to upload and use stuff on the new website. Because a lot of people are asking, you know. You know, if people are asking me, then maybe that's a good idea. So, Lego Assassin, look at my Jebediah skin. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I didn't, um, I didn't have time. I didn't realise you'd said that. Yeah, I know. This has gone from how to skin a tutor tutorial to ship one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry, that how to skin tutorial is coming up, but I decided to make it later on because most people would have missed it at the hour I was going to do it. So, there you go. Um, hey. Does anybody else want to say anything about this new linking system? Or are we done? <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. That being said, um, I need to steal Dow and KY for a minute. Okay. 